A, a short question, the Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni. In my riding, when I was door knocking, one of the most heartfelt stories was when I knocked on a door of a senior and she said she had to make a choice over medicine or food. And she chose to eat, but she was living in pain. Mr. Speaker, maybe the member from Essex can talk about why there's a sense of urgency for us to move forward and, and make a commitment to a universal pharmacare pro, uh, plan. And knowing that the PBO report says that, there, that we'll save Canadians $4.2 billion if we implement one, how important that is for us to get that tax savings and make sure she's not suffering for another day, Mr. Speaker. Very short answer, the Honourable Member for Essex. I thank the member from Courtney Alberni, and during my speech, I referenced one of my constituents with a similar story. This is heartbreaking for Canadians, and it cannot continue. Mr. Speaker, you know, in 2015, there was an Angus Reid Institute uh, report that said millions of Canadians currently feel the pressure of prescription drug costs. More than one in five say that in the past 12 months, they or someone in their household did not take their medication as prescribed because of the cost. It's time for action, Mr. Speaker. Here, here. 